Yeah, super, super good. Um, obviously, a lot of new faces that are eager to, to be here. I'm super excited to be a part of Orlando City Soccer Club, uh, as are all of us. So, really, really excited, enthusiastic day. Um, and I, I couldn't be more pleased with the, uh, the tempo of the session and the commitment that the guys showed from day one. This is um, a situation that I, I lay no expectations on. Uh, obviously, for, first and foremost, Kyle is a contract at Orlando City and a major league soccer player. He was supposed to be here today, so you know, whether or not there'll be repercussions for his not being here is a little bit above my pay grade. Um, but from we we look at that situation and say he's a he's an MLS player and he's an Orlando City player until we hear different. Has there been any contact with him at all throughout the, this whole saga? No. As in, in the case for, for many, many of the international players that we bring in, we always run into one hiccup or another with the visa process. But he is expected actually this afternoon, um, whether or not he'll be in training tomorrow or the next day, but in the short term, we expect him any day. Uh, I think Dom will be a player that we're looking to build up over the next two weeks. He um, will not be involved in the training this week. He should start to be involved in all the on-field stuff next week. So we believe that by the, our second preseason game that he should be available for that. A number one goal is to get the guys to know each other. Um, we have a lot of new players um, and we would like them to all have a better understanding of who each other are. That's the number one goal. Number two, obviously, is to, to get the guys fitness uh, over the next week and a half to get them away from uh, any other outside influences that we can spend time together and to get to become uh, to, to get to put in place what it will mean from a culture perspective to be an Orlando City Soccer Club member uh, as well as from a soccer philosophy perspective about all of the principles of play we will be trying to implement this year. Uh, obviously in those ways uh, a big, big acquisition for us. Uh, we spent a lot of time in the recruitment phase of Jose. The coaching staff are extremely happy to have been able to add him. And we need to say a big, big thanks to our owner for putting forth the requisite resources necessary to sign a player like that. You have somebody uh, yes. specific yes, that you want to talk sign, about? Uh, probably at least two more players. Hopefully should be in the next few days. Let me say the coaching staff has a very, very high level of familiarity and comfort with Chris Schuler after working with him for several years in Real Salt Lake. But he's also a player that over the past two years or so has had quite a bit of injury issues, um, was released by Real Salt Lake. Uh, and so we are having him in to see what he looks like, uh, both from a fitness and health perspective, but as well as how does he fit in our group. Anxious? Yes, absolutely. It's a very long off-season for coaches in this league, especially when you don't reach your objective to make the playoffs. Uh, and so we've spent an inordinate amount of work as scouts in the off-season, and we're tired of that. We, we prefer to be coaches. It's, uh, it's, it's indescribable, uh, to be honest with you, how difficult it is to acquire players outside of the league and inside of the league. Anytime you're dealing with a trade, these things typically take weeks to months try to hammer out all the details that go into that when you're talking about the international signing you have all these regulations that you need to do from a league stand standpoint and then you have to negotiate with the player and then you have to negotiate with the club that's leaving that he's leaving from so extremely difficult and before all that is all the scouting work that goes into to each player that we bring in here and part of that scouting work for us is to understand who the person is so the personal conversations that we've had with these players has been extremely important and we believe that we've brought in excellent excellent soccer players and even better men you know i think we have a big challenge on our plate for sure and as i said that's going to be a big big focus for us right away when we're in jacksonville Maybe, arguably, even more so than the soccer will be to get these players to understand who each other are and to gel and be willing to sacrifice for each other. Yeah, I mean, we talk, we talk about all the things that we had to do in the offseason and all the difficult work that we had to get through and all the negotiations and how long those things take. Dom falls right into that category that it was a, it was a difficult, um, difficult negotiation and a, a process that took us a long time. that we think will be a big, big piece of our team going forward. So we're going to be happy with that situation. Yeah, I think from, a, from the club's chair, from the club's perspective, we see this as, as kind of the tipping point. We see this as, as the year that we've really got to make a big step forward. And that's why we've gone out and done some drastic things in the offseason. In the prior offseason, we thought that we were very close, very few changes. 
to the players because we believe we just needed to tinker around the edges. We were wrong. We were wrong in the fact that, that we probably need to make more changes. And we were wrong in sort of looking at the rest of the Eastern Conference because the Eastern Conference took two major steps forward and we only took one small one. So that's why we've we've handled our business in the offseason differently this offseason. We made major changes. We are making major, major changes to the culture inside our locker room uh, in an effort to do everything that we can to drive this club forward, to compete consistently. For us, about making the playoffs is, a, is an objective that's way out here. Our objective is day to day. Let's get better. Let's improve. I think that um, I think a little bit of two things when I answer this question. For me, of course, the ball is the most important thing. Uh, and so I want our players to have the same sort of hunger that I do to dominate the ball. But from a second point of view, we've given all of our players a lot of off-season work, individual aerobic work, physical work. So we we assume, we expect that they've done that work, and they're ready to start to start training with the ball.